I rise and begin with an apology that this is the first time I've taken part in this bill. Uh, my noble friend Baroness Jones of Mulscombe took part in earlier stages, but she's otherwise occupied this afternoon, so we're tag-teaming. Um, and I want to begin by sympathising with the comments uh, made by the noble lady Baroness Bakewell and indeed the noble lady Baroness McIntosh about the circumstances that our farmers find themselves in. They have set up their businesses according to the policies and frameworks provided uh, by successive governments. And now it's clear that they are going to have to change radically in terms of the climate emergency issues of food security, etc. Um, and it is important that it's clear what steps um, when government takes steps that we see understand what the impacts on individual farmers are. Um, but I rise on this amendment particularly just to ask really the noble lady Baroness Bakewell one question and to put something I think that's important on the record. We heard in the previous group from uh, all sides of your Lordship's House how long people have been campaigning for decades for the impact of this bill to be delivered, uh, including the noble lady Baroness Fuchs opposite, among many others, uh, and credit to, to the noble lady. Um, and I think it's important that we put on the record and make clear that the purpose of this review would not be to reverse the act of the bill, would not be to say, well, we're going to, ha you know, we're going to have to let live exports happen again because of the impact. I think it's really important that we make it very clear that's not the case, because this is a situation where the UK is indeed providing leadership without a doubt. Um, the EU, there are still horrendous things happening with live livestock exports in the EU. Um, a report out last year showed there have been 180,000 consignments of cattle, pigs, sheep and other species uh, over one 19-month period. Uh, many of those suffered from overcrowding, exhaustion, dehydration and stress. And of course, there's a subject that I've often discussed with the noble lord, the minister of the biosecurity risks of moving live animals in such a manner. So I'd just really like to ask the noble lady, perhaps in, in summing up, and to put on the record in hand side that, that there is no intention in your lordship's house to reverse the direction of this bill.